Soul Calibur 6 is a fairly dense fighting game, and like any new fighter, many of the control schemes will seem very alien to you if you quickly jump into battling online without practicing a bit first. It features many combat systems both old and new, and knowledge of some of the more nuanced abilities and features within the game can be the difference between holding your own and utter annihilation. Here's what you should know about combat going into Soul Calibur 6. Let's start with the basics. Soul Calibur features an eight-way run, allowing you to move into the foreground and background of the level to dodge attacks and approach opponents. It also breaks its attacks into horizontal and vertical hits, A and B respectively, instead of light and heavy, though vertical attacks are often the more heavy hitters. Guarding is assigned to the guard button, X on PS4 and A on Xbox respectively, and you can kick using the K button, circle on PlayStation, B on Xbox. You can press these buttons in combination as well, with horizontal and vertical being a strong attack, and vertical and kick registering as a special action, the effects of which differ for each character. Pressing up while guarding will cause your character to jump while attacking, and pressing up simultaneously will cause them to use a jump attack. These moves, in combination with the 8-way run, allow for complex combinations based on each individual character in Soul Calibur. New to the Soul Calibur series is the Reversal Edge combat system. Anytime during combat, pressing R1 initiates a Reversal Edge, allowing you to parry incoming attacks and follow up with your own. Successfully landing a Reversal Edge will create a slowdown of time where you and your opponent will enter into fighting stances. While in this state, each player will read the other in a rock-paper-scissors style of combat where you both will initiate a horizontal, vertical, or kick attack. Horizontal attacks beat kicks, kicks beat vertical attacks, and vertical attacks beat a horizontal. Reversal edges can be blocked, but if the attack is charged long enough, it will still trigger the minigame. Should you both use the same move within the reversal edge, you will reset and go again with the second attack, going to the initiator of the reversal edge in the event of another tie. Reversal edge can be an effective move to break yourself from combat if your opponent is relentlessly coming at you, especially if their swings are slow and heavy hitting. However, be wary of its telegraphing, allowing an easy dodge with an 8-way run if your opponent knows it's coming. Another system to keep in mind is the soul gauge next to your character's health bar. It will rise as you fight in a battle, maxing out at two full charges. Certain moves used can deplete your soul gauge, and once at one or higher, you can initiate two separate things. The first is a critical edge, a sort of ultimate move that inflicts a large amount of damage to your opponent should it hit. The other is your soul charge. Holding back in R2 simultaneously will have your character enter their charge state. While initiated, the soul gauge will deplete, giving you different effects based on your character, be it higher damage or giving you access to a bevy of new and powerful moves. Which you choose will be based on what you're trying to do. Are you behind in the fight and looking to go on the offensive to do more damage? Soul Charge is probably the way to go, while the Critical Edge is better saved for at the end of a combo run while your opponent is unable to move or block. Critical Edges are often highly telegraphed and are best performed when your opponent is powerless to stop you, for instance, while falling during a combo starting move. Sometimes, though, the best offense is a well-timed defense, which Soul Calibur certainly allows for. Dodging vertical attacks by moving into the foreground or background with an 8-way run can be a great way to avoid taking a lot of damage. Guarding and crouching in tandem initiates a crouching guard that will not only protect you against low attacks, but also lets you dodge high attacks and throws. Standing guard will block all attacks except for low attacks, and while crouching guard cannot block middle attacks, it will avoid high attacks. Both guards will protect you from special middle attacks and special low attacks. Attacks labeled as low or special low can also be avoided with jumps. If an opponent tries to throw you, pressing guard and horizontal attacks simultaneously will induce a grapple break. If already guarding, rapidly pressing any of the attacks will also induce a grapple break, though there are certain throws that can break through this. You also have some options if you've already been struck. Pressing a direction and guard just as you hit the ground after taking a hit will bounce you up with an ukemi, ready to rejoin the fray, and pressing an attack or guard while on the ground will select either action to perform as you rise. You can also roll in any direction while on the ground to avoid further attacks, or redirect yourself in the air to avoid a ring out or further aerial combos. The final defensive mechanism at your disposal is a guard impact. You can initiate a guard impact by pressing the forward and guard buttons simultaneously just as they attack you, repelling their attack and leaving your opponent vulnerable. However, this will not work against break attacks or unblockable attacks. You can also use the same command to issue a reverse impact should your attack be parried with a guard impact, effectively parrying their parry. This can be performed indefinitely between two opponents to throw off the timing in a fight, or you can simply respond with a break attack to cut through a reverse impact and expose your opponent. Keep in mind that reverse impacts are perfect for countering your opponent's faster attacks, while reversal edges can help you repel slower attacks. Getting precise timing on these parry techniques can quickly shift the tide in battle. That's about it! Now that you've got the basics of combat down, jump into the stories of Soul Calibur and find the fighter that gels with your style of play. 
Of course, if you need to practice with the character before jumping online, there's always the training area and the arcade mode to continue pushing yourself and perfecting your combos. What's your favorite character in Soul Calibur 6? Let us know in the comments, and for more help on Soul Calibur, check out our full wiki, and for everything else, you're already in the right place. IGN.